everybody, let's try this again. We're going to do a little demo of using Google Slides inside of Zoom. So we have like a little practice classroom with only two students. Hi, dear students who have volunteered. You guys want to wave and say hi. hi. Thank you for helping me. Um, but normally this would probably be in a much bigger classroom, right? So um, we're just going to demo what we can today. So what we're going to do is in um, Google Slides, I'm actually going to share my screen. And you guys are going to see a Google Slide. Um, let me do this. Well, let me just do all of them. And in this Google Slide, what I'm going to do is um, we kind of made a little, uh, uh, um, the prompt is, what was your happy time today? Of course, the prompt could be anything, and we've collected a whole bunch of examples and samples for um, faculty to use, but for my current audience, this one made the most sense. So what I'm going to do is click the share button on these slides and make sure that anyone is can edit, right? So I'm going to copy this link. If it doesn't say edit, you'll need to change this and make sure that this is set to be editor, and then copy your link, hit done. And I'm going to take that link and share it with my students because they don't yet have that. So I'm going to go to the chat window and I'm going to say that's the link, you guys, to our Google Slides that you're looking at on my screen. I got, I got two from, I got, oh, do I press the second because the one up there is the first. Yes, the one up there, it's actually the same one from when we tried recording this before. Can so I press any? You can choose either one. Yeah. Okay, so I'm choose either one, one, and then you'll you'll be able to see the slides that I was just showing you on my shared screen. So okay. I can see that Abby is in this one, and I can see that um, Jack. Both of you guys are in this one. What I'm going to do is stop screen sharing so that you guys can focus on yours. But what you need to do is um, let me stop the share. So you guys can focus on your own Google slide. And what you need to do is just choose one of the slides that another student hasn't yet chosen. And I already put my name in the first one. Okay, so Abby's going to be in the first one. And then you can write your name and then just start telling me about what was your happy time today. I don't know what that means. Huh? I don't know how to write my name. Um, so double click in the space and it should let you start typing in there. Okay, I got it. So I click my name. Yep. And Jack. Okay. Jack. Okay, and then what was the, the question is, what was your happy time today? So start writing about that. Under my name? Yes. Okay. So meanwhile, while my students are working on that, I can kind of watch as they work on these slides. So I can see that Abby is working on hers. Uh, I can't go on there. And I can see that Jack is working on his. If you hit the enter button, enter. hit enter and it'll make a new line, Jack. Oh. There you go. Now okay. tell me what was your happy time to... today. And if you want to be on yeah. mute during this activity, you can be on mute during this activity so it's nice and quiet and people can think. So I'm adding this in after the fact um, because I forgot to show you this when my kids were recording. But the other cool thing in Google Slides is that then you can click over to this grid view and look at all of the slides at once. It's kind of a nice way to get a you know overview of all the activity that's happening um, in those slides at one time. Or you can go back to that what they call the film strip view and kind of click through if you need a little bit more space to actually read what's going on in those slides. And so as the teacher, I can then kind of see um, that progress is being made. And of course, like I say, this is a very small class size, but I would have students on each one of these slides working on this, responding to this prompt. Okay, so it doesn't have to be long. Let's maybe just wrap it up in just a few more seconds. I'm done, I think. Okay, I'm going to let Jack finish.
Um, awesome. Okay, so let me open you guys back up. So thank you very much. Let's see what you guys came up with. I'm going to share screen again. So now you guys should see my shared screen on Zoom again. And I'm done. Thank you. What do I do now? You don't need to do anything. Now you can just wait. Because now as a class, if we wanted to, we could talk about the different um, responses that you guys entered into these slides. It looks like Abby is still working on her response right now. Is there anything you guys wanted to share about what you responded to in your happy time? No. Not so much? Yeah, not so much. Okay, not so much. I'm going to stop the share. You didn't do yours. I didn't do mine because I was watching you guys do yours and pretending to be the teacher. But you're right. That would maybe be a good thing for me to do too so you guys oh. could know my happy time. My happy time, one of them is right now. Yeah, I'm not being able to do this with you. I think it's a lot of fun to be able to record this video with you. I'm going to stop our recording now, and I think that's a good demonstration of how we can use Google Slides that are editable in a Zoom session to get students responding to a prompt together, right? Yeah. We could have broken you out into breakout rooms so that you were in like groups. You know how your teachers were doing it in the spring? Yeah. You could have gone into breakout rooms and worked on those slides together and had a conversation with your little group while you were working on the slide. So. Lots of ways to use Google Slides, and we'll share some templates with folks so that they can um, try out some new ideas um, with Google Slides and Zoom. All right, should we say, say goodbye? Bye.